So the next time when you run out of electricity at home, you should know that there are some interesting substances lying around you which you can use to make small batteries. For instance, like these lemons and potatoes, which look tasty, which are tasty, but can also be used for purposes like lighting a small LED. That is when you have four of them. Let's say if you have like thousands of them, who knows, you might also run some sort of a machine using these. Anyways, the concept of electricity generation using lemons and potatoes is something that we will demonstrate through this video. So let's start setting up the apparatus for the experiment. To carry out this experiment, we have taken four lemons, a few wires, LEDs and copper and zinc plates which will act as our cathodes and anodes respectively. So let's remove these plates and let's, and let's start putting them in through the lemon. So here is our first cathode inside the copper plate. Let's put it in more properly. Yeah, it's properly mounted. Let's take zinc which becomes our anode on this particular lemon it looks like a strong one but yeah this one is sufficiently inside let's do that for the next three lemons as well be very careful do not cut your hands these are sharp here goes the third one So I can smell a lot of lemon while piercing this. So all four lemons are now ready and it's time for us to make the connections. And now we'll have to make zinc to copper, zinc to copper, zinc to copper alternate connections to set up the whole battery. Make sure that the connections are firm and the wire is touching the electrode properly. So the connections are now complete. We won't be needing these gloves anymore. So let us finally take this LED and connect it to the end terminals to see if it's glowing after all this connection. So here goes our cathode and here is our anode. Ideally I should have used the black wire there and red here. But that's fine. Color of the wire does not matter the end result here. The LED indeed is glowing. And as you can see, uh, the reason why it's glowing is because these lemons together are creating a potential difference across the ends of the LED. Because if I keep it in air like this, it's not glowing. These two ends are at the same terminal. But if I connect it to these two terminals, there is a potential difference which is set across the LED. And as a result of that, the LED is glowing. So we would need uh, about a minimum of four lemons to perform this experiment. We will do a similar thing with potatoes as well to glow the LED. Uh, and of course, if you can increase the number of lemons or potatoes, you can also achieve much higher potential differences, which can be used for other purposes like running small machines. So let's set the same experiment up for a potato as well. So I have made a similar setup with four potatoes as well. Your copper plate is acting as the positive terminal. Zinc is acting as the negative terminal and the connections are similar. Zinc to copper, zinc to copper, zinc to copper, alternate connections. It's a series battery. Each potato is providing a certain potential. And since all of them are connected in series, the net potential across these two endpoints is the potential difference across this potato plus potential difference across this potato plus potential difference across this, plus potential difference across this. All of them will have slightly different potential differences because they are not exactly the same in terms of their shape and size. So now we will finally connect our LED to these endpoints. 
it's growing a little more brightly than what it was in the previous case. And that gives us an indication that potential difference created due to the potatoes is a little higher than the one that was created due to the lemons. Anyways, uh, so the concept of production of electricity using household materials is clear now. Try figuring out that which are some other materials around you which can do a similar job as to this one. I hope you found the video informative. Thank you for watching.